So first what you're going to want to do is section off this part of your hair. Then you're going to tie it off with an elastic. Now I used one of these contraptions and you can get it from CVS but if you don't have one of these you can just um, take the ends of the hair and roll it up and then just bobby pin it and create your own like ballerina bun or you can do the sock bun trick. Um, my hair is thin when I'm not using like since I sectioned off my hair that bun part's pretty thin but so it's going to get like a small bun. Now with these two side pieces, you're just going to French braid them. If you French braid, then take your two outside strands and cross them over top. And then for a Dutch braid, cross them underneath. I'm crossing one underneath, so mine's going to be a Dutch braid. Some people call it inverse, but I just call it Dutch braid. So you're grabbing a piece as close as you can to the front of your hair. You're separating it into three strands. And then you're going to take the outside strands, cross it underneath the middle strand, add more hair, cross the other outside strand, cross it underneath, and then add more hair to your side strand. And then you just repeat that. If you want a more in-depth tutorial of how to inverse braid or Dutch braid, there's tons of tutorials on YouTube so you can just check that out. Once I get to about here, it's kind of harder to pick up hair from back here and add it to that strand. So I'm just adding it to the front strand now. And then I'm going to tie it off with a clear elastic. And now I'm just going to do the same thing to the other side. So now I'm going back to this side of the braid. And I'm going to pull the pieces so that they become more loose. So now after you've tugged and pulled on your braids, you're going to take one side and you're going to wrap it on top. And then you're going to just bobby pin it in place as you go. And then once you get to this end piece, you're going to tuck it under the other braid. And then you're going to put a little bit of hair in that bobby pin from this braid. So that way it stays down and in place. And if you need to, you can use more than one. Now I'm going to take this braid, cross it on top of the other braid. And I'm going to bobby pin it in place. And when I bobby pin it, I'm weaving it through the braid and then kind of like tucking it underneath so that way you don't see the bobby pin. So once you get finished bobby pinning everything in place, this is what the hair is going to look like. I also added some earrings since my hair is back and out of my way, so I just wanted the earrings to frame my face a little bit better. So if you want, you can do that too. And I'll be making more hair tutorials. 
And I also filmed a makeup tutorial today, but then when I looked back at the footage, it was blurry, so I'm going to have to redo that. But I just want to talk about the products that I did use in that video, because um, it was from the January Starlux box, and they sent an eyeliner in that box, but it's a white eyeliner, it's called Milky Way, and I used it on my inner corner, and it's awesome looking. Because when I first looked at it, I was like, what am I going to use this for? But then once I used it like in the inner corner, because it's very creamy, it looks really awesome. And then I did my sister's makeup today, and I did that in her inner corner, and it looked really good. And then I have these two lip products on my lips right now. This is like a very sheer pinky color. It's not pigmented or anything, but it's just very glossy. Like if I put it on my hand, I guess you can just see like the way it shines. So it's almost like a lip, or a lip gloss in a lipstick form. But I also used this lip gloss and my sister used it today too and she really liked it and she said she liked the way that it looked on my lips. But it just makes them look really glossy and nice so if the eyes are dramatic this is a good way to keep the lips pretty neutral because you don't want too much going on to where you look like a clown, you know? But in the box it also came with this brownish looking lipstick. I haven't used it yet but I don't know, it's it's not super pigmented, which is good because I don't think you want brown lips. But um it's it's not bad looking. I don't know what it's gonna look like on, but I'll probably maybe I'll do a tutorial with it or something. But yeah, thanks again for watching this video and stay tuned for more hair tutorials. And if you have any other requests, you can put them in the comments below. And thanks for watching. Bye.